What's up y'all, it's Paragon23 and today I'll be showing y'all how to take my pants templates and to make them into the team that you'd like. So in my earlier video we made UCF jerseys and I'll show these really quick. Let's go to Teams UCF and here's the jersey we made. I think it looks really clean and we'll make some pants to match it and then I can make another video uh, to show you how to make the uh, the show off or the uh, the preview that a lot of people like to make, which some people find hard, which doesn't make sense to me. So I'll bring this over here, and we'll start on the pants. So here's the pants they used last season. Uh, I don't like them; they're too simple for this tutorial. So I'm going to close that out, and we're going to make these. I think they're a lot more challenging, and they'll teach you better. So that's what we're going to make now. First thing I want to say is I think the pants template should match the jersey template you're making and in this case this is the only pants template uh, released so you'll have to well, release by me so you have to match these with uh, whatever jersey template you like so we're going to use these and we're going to make these pants so starting off of course they're white so we're going to use this black and white uh, color area and we're going to switch it to white take the fill button tool anti-aliasing disabled so it's pixelated and we're going to go ahead and color in everything on the color layer that we feel like needs to be colored in and the belt on these is white so we'll color that white okay and now for these areas the yellow areas i intended for that to be just mesh but some people color them differently which is incorrect but do as you please I guess but I'll show you the right way to make the mesh uh, you want both colors to be the same and uh, what you'll do next is take one color and make it a little bit darker so I like to make it four or five darker I'll make it four fill and 25 percent fill and as you can see there's a little bit of mesh going on there and we'll do the same on that side okay so now we have the base part of it done Okay, and based on these pants, the stripe only goes up about three quarters of the way. So we can go ahead and get rid of the stripe up here. So this is on the color layer. Make sure it's solid color and it's perfect light. We'll color that up. And as I said earlier in another video, uh, Roblox isn't perfectly, you know, realistic. So we're just going to make it look good enough. So we'll start off, I think, by making this logo here. So we'll know how wide to make the stripe uh, on the pants. So I have the logo pulled up here. You can find this just by looking up team name jersey um, logo or team name logo. So this is UCF. I'm, I got rid of the white so it would be easier to copy and resize. And I'm going to select around it pretty closely. You can give or take a few pixels, that's fine. copy and paste into a new page and you can deselect and now here we have our pants I like to use this, the pre-made stripe to determine how long I think it should be and it's about 14 in width according to the bottom left so I'm gonna try control R 14 width see how it looks on the pants I'm gonna go ahead and make a new layer over color I'll name it logos and I'm going to paste it. And I think it looks pretty decent. You can barely tell, but from my eye, I think it looks how it should be, according to this. So we'll leave it right, right there. And what you have to do from here is take this logo, and on some logos, uh, you'll have to flip it. Some logos, you'll have to keep the same way, facing the same way. I think I'm going to flip it. So we'll bring it over here. And it's 64 across, so 64. And it's perfectly flipped. You can see with the yellow, and there's a little bit of pixelation for the logo. So now, underneath, we know that there are three colors here. There's the black and the uh, tan. And we used tan on this jersey a little bit. We used it right here. We use this tan. And the black we used, we used on the collar. So I'll copy that. 
I'll make it a little bit lighter because sometimes paint.net doesn't keep the exact same uh, color. And I'm going to make a new layer titled uh, Stripe. We'll name it that. We'll start off by selecting how tall we want it to be. In this case, we want it to be, I think that height's pretty good, one pixel under. And now we have to think about the proportions. So this is 14 pixels wide, and there are three stripes, two of which I think are about the same in width, and the tan one is a little bit bigger than both. So I think we'll keep, we'll make it three, the black outside, three wide, the inside, two wide and the tan three wide just see how it works out we can fix it later if we need to so I'll go ahead and do that remember it was 14 in width so I'm gonna make it seven so we can just copy it over okay it was three width earlier so we're gonna use the same width to make the peak Make sure anti-aliasing is enabled so that there's no pixelation. And we can go ahead and copy that over and flip it. Now I'm going to make a new layer underneath. Title it Stripe Tan. Take the tan color. And I'm simply just going to color underneath. And it went up a little bit, so I'm going to color that. Okay, copy it over. And that's looking about the same. So I'm going to merge these cut together, name it Stripe. And underneath the original color layer, I'm going to color this line white to get rid of the uh, original color. So now all we have to do is copy that. Onto the other side, it's already symmetrical, so you don't have to worry about that. Color the original color white, and there's the coloring done with that. Next up, we're going to work on the shading and the opacity of the lines. So, first thing I think we'll do is make the shading low about let's see 30 maybe a little low make it 45 for now okay and next we're going to do this in order I'm going to go ahead and merge stripe and logos and according to this I think we're forgetting another logo yeah we're forgetting the Nike logo so we'll put that on there really quick I have mine prepared and I think it's pretty small so we'll make it 20 in width and it's on the left side of the pants on the right pant sleeve I guess you could call it just put it wherever you think is necessary looks about right and remember these pants ride up on the player so you'll might you'll probably have to make it a little bit higher than you wanted it to I think that's solid and now we're gonna work on the uh, lining opacity and shading opacity so Let's get rid of this lining shading. I didn't use that for the jersey. Lining. Let's go ahead and copy this, actually. Copy the lining from this jersey. Just so we can compare it. The stitching and lining will be the same opacity. Let's see if 40 is about where we need to be. And I think that's perfect, 40 opacity so yeah we'll keep it at 40 okay let's go ahead and delete the original from the jersey and the pads will have to be really light and the, I have the, the back or butt pad a little separately for some reason so we'll make that light also 45 Okay, that looks good to me. And we'll go ahead and merge all these to color. And shading, 
I don't like this shading necessarily, so I'm going to go ahead and get rid of it and use the Paragon 23 shading, which you can find in my Discord server. Copy what I a little bit over what I think it should be. Paste it on. Go to Color. Control. I mean Shift and click for the magic wand. Go back to the layer. Delete around it. Change the opacity to 35. And I think that looks about what we need. Need it to. So we'll merge that with the color. I always like to delete the lines from the background so it looks a little cleaner on the template do the same up here that's not necessary at all and well that's done for the pants the pants are done in themselves save as find your uh, saving area And uh, there you go. So next we'll do the uh, cleats and socks. We're going to work on the socks and the cleats. So I have cleats all over my Discord server. I have hundreds of cleats, so you can pick whatever you'd like. But let's, see, let's say you're the uh, one making the team uniforms, and you want to make it default. So you need to look at the color of the pants and the color of the jersey, which would uh, go together. So in this case, white and white and decide what matches or would look good in contrast with so white and white i mean the cleats pretty much have to be white so we're going to go find some cleats that are white and look good uh, i think we'll go with go with what most people use which is the vapor and touchable ones I copy just what you need make a new layer this layer doesn't need to be named. It will. It'll be over with soon. Paste it in with Control V and Control C. And now we need to do socks. So socks isn't really that important. I posted in my Discord channel uh, some socks that could be used. I'm just deleting around to make it look nice. This isn't necessary either. So now we'll get the socks. You can find these in my Discord server. I need to pull them up. We'll use the no brand socks for now. Copy what you need. Now this layer that you create needs to go underneath the background. So you can do that by uh, using these arrows. Paste it under and adjust the height to what you like. I think right here looks good. Sure, that's fine with me. And all you need to do now is to merge them all together. Merge, merge. And, well, you're done. Save it as whatever you like. UCF white pants with untouchable ones is what I'd name it. And, I mean, that's all there is to it. So, uh, I hope you can use my pants templates correctly now. And if you need any help, post it in the comments. Post it in my Discord. Um, DM me, whatever you need. And I hope that can help you in the future.